Hello everybody, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good day, and welcome back to Car Mechanic Simulator. In the previous video, we did an incredibly long one hour plus video of me rebuilding this Mercedes. It was an intense video, it took an intense amount of time to render, that's why it was actually a day or so late, because it took so long I actually fell asleep in the middle of waiting for it to, uh, to render. Uh, so if you haven't seen that video, you can go back and watch it. I'm just going to give you a few seconds for you to decide whether you're going to watch it, because I'm going to open the hood. <gasps> this is what we have here. Look at this. Lovely, mint, brand new, fresh, completely restored Mercedes 560 SEL. But today, I'm going to be doing something a little different, because there is another Mercedes with this DLC, and it's right behind me here. This is the Mercedes 300 SL. And yes, it has gold wing doors. Look at this. What a beauty. So in the same way that I did the video for the Mercedes, if you have seen the video of the Mercedes, this is probably, it's out by now. By the time this video goes out, that video should have been watched by a lot of you and you should have um, realized whether you thought the video was terrible or brilliant. You can use that as a basis to decide whether you want to see me rebuild this or not. So again, if you would like to see me rebuild this, you're going to have to give me an insane amount, a number of likes, because uh, it's. I really need to know that a lot of you are really interested. Otherwise, I could spend my time doing something else, because this is really, it's quite tedious, I have to say. There's, there's a lot of tedium uh, in rebuilding these things, but it's quite fun at the same time. So, I'm going to say 1,000 likes again. If this video hits 1,000 likes, I will then do this car completely, rebuilding it inside and out and in fact today i'm going to do the outside at least so we only we only have to worry about the underneath and stuff first so uh yeah what i'm going to do is i'm going to replace this because there is actually a boot lid completely missing i just noticed the batteries in the back of this car that's cool so the boot uh we need to get a boot lid and i think everything else is there so we just need to take it all off i'm going to stick it on that ramp over there next to our in fact let's just put this back in the garage we we're done with this now we can stick it back in parking. There we go. And in fact, I'll move this one back to the left lifter. Hang on. This is not ready. Hang on. There we go. There she is. Right, now I'm going to start taking all of the uh, all the body parts off. We're going to fix it and we're going to respray it as well, even though I quite like the colour that it's currently in. So uh, let's just take this off. We don't need to take that off. There's nothing there. Let's get rid of that light there. We'll get rid of that light there. We're going to take all of the wheels off. We're going to have to lift this up, aren't we? I don't think we can... Can we get it from here? Oh, we can. It's slightly lifted, so we're good. Let's take all of this off. And you can see underneath, there is a lot of stuff going on there. A lot of stuff that's going to need changing. But we're not going to do that in this video. You're going to have to let me know. Uh, also, there's going to be some comments right now on the screen that I have from the previous video that I'm going to be featuring. Um, I'm sort of recording this from uh, another time, so obviously I haven't got a fresh amount of comments and stuff to pick from for this video, so that's why I'm just going to feature them uh, in editing. I think that's everything. There's Okay, there's these two wheels here, but I think that's it for all the panels. There's not much going on there. So we take that off, take that off, and I think that should be it. Now, apparently, we can respray the wheels on this car, but I don't know how that's going to work. But apparently, we can. Oh, there's this door here. There we go. Right, so let's go over to the parts fixing table. Which is obviously big enough to fix giant doors and stuff. We'll ignore that detail. Right, let's just spam this. And hopefully we can get stuff... Okay, there's one thing broken, I heard. Is that going to be it? One thing broken? One thing, the right tail light. That's that's all we're going to have to fix, I think. As well as needing a new boot, uh, boot lid. So, let's go to 300. Uh, we need... We've got the hood. We need the right tail light. And the trunk lid. And I think that is everything. So we can get rid of the right tail light there. That's everything. That's pretty awesome. Right, let's just go back and stick that back on then. Go to assembly mode. Stick the hood on. Nice and gleaming. Front bumper. Right headlight. Left headlight. Door. Uh, we do the uh, wheels at the end. Trunk. We have the rear bumper. No parts to assemble. Oh, apparently what happened with that one? Did it not have a rear bumper? It didn't have a rear bumper. Well, there we go. There is something else we needed. Rear bumper. There we go. Do you know what? I quite like it without the bumpers, to be honest. I think that looks really cool and classic and sort of hot roddy without it. That's a shame that the game is going to make us having to put this on. Because actually, I quite like it. Look at that. 
That looks so much cooler, bumperless. Yeah, I don't, I don't like that bumper at all. I think that's, I think that looks loads better bumperless. But for the sake of this, we're gonna have to uh, put it on here. So let's get that on, and then it's just a case of putting all the wheels on. There's wheel one, and one of the great details about this is when you look at the wheel. Uh, when we start to, you can see here that there is a cap over the wheel, but obviously you can't have the cap on when you're actually putting the wheel on. So you put that on, and as soon as you're finished, it sticks the cap on. That's awesome. That's a great little detail. I don't know why I'm fascinated by that, but I just think that's a great little detail there. So we stick that on, and we're going to have to find out about painting these wheels as well, because I'm not sure. But I'm going to stick them in the, uh, in the paint thing when we paint the whole car. And hopefully it will give us a choice, otherwise I don't know what we have to do with this. We stick that on, like that. And that is everything done. Oh, yeah, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Repair body frame. There we go. And look at that. All of the rust has gone, and it looks nice and shiny. But we're going to change the color anyway. So let's go to the paint shop. Right, here we are. So I don't want to go for a gray again, because I feel like that's been, it's been done with the last Mercedes. And I did try to get a sort of wine color with the last Mercedes, but maybe this one would be a bit more... Um, a bit more suitable because we don't have the two-tone to worry about. So let's see what this one comes out like first of all. That's quite interesting. That's... Yeah, I'm not sure. Let's get it a bit darker and a bit richer. Like that. How's this one going to turn out? That's not bad. That's quite a classic colour. That's quite a classic colour. But what about the wheels? We can't really... Mm, what's the factory colour going to come out like? Oh, the factory colour is the one we bought it as. Right, that, yeah, that's that's not going to work. Let's just go for that again. What about this purple here? That might be a bit too much, because I know this is a classic car. We don't want to make it too modern looking. Oh, wow. That's really juicy looking, but that's not right. That's not right at all. I want to get a sort of slight wine color. Hmm, maybe that. We'll go for that for now. Maybe we can change it at another time. But there we go. Look at that. That's gleaming. I want to see now. Let's go over to the computer. And I think, let's go to part shop. Oh, that's for the Maluk. Let's go to the tuner's shop. And rims. Is there any rim that we can... Oh, okay. Right. I'm gonna. I'm just going to attempt to put one of these on. Because I don't know what's going to happen. But let's just buy one. And try and put it on this car here. So let's just stick it up on the lifter. And I'm going to try and see. Because apparently we can paint the wheels. But I can't see where we paint the wheels. I, this is probably going to be another thing... You guys are going to have to tell me in the comments because obviously I've missed something. Right, so let's take this off and see if we can change the wheel. Here we go. No. Okay. Yeah, I really have no idea how we're supposed to paint that. I have no clue. Oh, well. Right, we can just sell that wheel that we bought then. Let's just actually go to our inventory. I want to see what we've got. Is that just it? That's it there. I think that's everything. Right, so I have a completely clear inventory. The car is fixed. I just want to put this back into the center right now. I want to open up the doors. Here we go. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. Let's sit inside as well. Oh, that is lovely. That is absolutely lovely. Let's take this for a test drive, actually. Or, or should I save it for the other video? <gasps> uh, no. Let's just take it for one test drive and we'll see how we go. Okay, here we are. Let's give this a try. Well, that's pretty slow, but but it is no car. It is no car, so I think we can give it that. And I'm going to try and brake and stuff because my driving on this has been absolutely terrible. But the steering is really just awful in this. As I keep saying every single time, the driving aspect of this game is a massive letdown. Ooh, God, it's just, it's like driving on ice. It's just like driving on ice. Okay, here we go. Over that. Wow, okay, that, that was terrible. I definitely think we've got some really bad suspension in this car, amongst other things. And there we go. Okay, and this is our report. Most of the stuff is pretty damn low. Most of that is just, it's just terrible. And I was thinking, I know what this game can do with. It can do with a map where you can just drive freely. Just a big open car park, or a straightaway track, or something like that. It'd be really cool to just, like, test how the speeds change, like the 0-60 the top speed, all that sort of stuff, how it would change between now and when we completely fix up the engine, as I think... Oh, I love how that opens. That's awesome. I'd really love to know the difference about that, but that little test thing that we do is really not... It doesn't really tell us anything other than park condition. It doesn't really give us any sort of proper stats about the car. 
all we get is this list of things here. God, that is a long list. Look at that. Oh, but we do have some rims that are nice, clean, and polished. And the part condition is showing as, oh, 45% overall with 100% body condition. Look at that. That's really rusty in there. That's an interesting engine. That's a really interesting engine compared to the last one. Because the last one was a V8. And now with this one, what is that? That is, look at how, look at the angle of that. That is a really weird angle. That is awesome. I have no idea why the engine is angled like that, but that, that's pretty cool. So, if you want to see me rebuild this engine, uh, all the suspension, the brakes, everything, I'm going to take everything out, fix everything, buy what we need to buy, and then put it all back together again. If you would like to see that, please let me know by hitting that like button. Try and hit 1,000 likes. I mean, the previous one, we hit it in under a day, which was just amazing. But maybe now that you've seen the long video, you might think, well, actually, hang on, I don't really care for that. Maybe I don't want that, so that's why I'm leaving it up to you guys again to decide. So there we go, guys. That is it. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye. Bye.